live. Welcome to the Happy to Be Nappy show. Today our show is what is a dread bath? Cameraman, if you could come in here. As you see here, this water is clean. It has essential oils and a nice uh, combination. That, could you tell them how it feels? Can you speak a little louder? Okay. This here is good. It's not no dirt coming out. Well, how does it smell? Okay, give them some details. They want to know. Like a lemon. Yeah, lemon and some other nice essential oils. But what's good about him is that he doesn't put... Do you put anything in your hair? No. Do you put grease? No. Do you put oil? No. Do you put any kind of uh, shea butter? No. Do you put any kind of oils? No. Okay, so he puts nothing in his hair. And as you can see, because he puts nothing in his hair, he has nothing in the water. Come back to me. Um, come back to me. What happens is a lot of people that, unlike him, they put a lot of grease, they put a lot of things in their hair. As a result, the water gets really dirty and nasty and all kinds of stuff, and they have buildup in their locks. He doesn't. Like, he freestyled his locks. These are freestyle locks. He just let them grow organically. And he only would like me to do it. So if you don't want to get your hair done, and you rock in your hair freestyle, you can just get a lock bath or dread bath. And then afterwards, I shampoo it with my shampoo, and then I mist your hair and oil it. But a lot of people have a lot of dirt and debris in their hair from sweat and buildup. So as a result, they, um, any questions, anybody, any hearts, yeah, anything? Say, hey. Huh? Say hi. hi, greetings, greetings, because I'm not able to read the screen. And the cameraman won't tell me you said hey. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Thanks for the hearts. So let's come back to the um to the water. Now you see his hair? No buildup. Okay. And this is what I do before I wash his hair. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the hearts. So as he's watching, we're gonna get ready to shampoo his hair. Okay. Gonna shampoo his hair. As you can see, his water is nice and clean. So he's giving me less work. You're gonna take the shampoo. This is the shampoo that I make organic. You're gonna let this out. Cause you see, it was nice and clean. And we're gonna. So your hair get a bath before we wash it. Cold. Yeah, it's room temperature. It feels cold. You heard him said it feels cold, but it's actually room temperature. It's not in the refrigerator or anything. It's all organic it's plant based. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is a shampoo, as you can see. So now his hair gets, his locks get washed. First we clean his the, the lock itself, and now we're going for the scalp. As you can see, how does it feel? How does the shampoo feel? A little cold. Yeah, but let's not forget not. the cold. How does it feel on your scalp? It feels real good. It smells. Okay. It feels that Smooth. cold is a natural. It's all natural. Okay, but now how does it feel that it's on your locks? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So he says it feels wonderful. Now come to me. Back over there. And now we're going to wash this here. As you can see, the soap is not even getting dark because... His hair was clean. It's not turning chocolate. A lot of people get as dirty. It, it, it turns chocolate on them. It gets very, very, very chocolate. So that's how you get a lock bath. We go through, we get them. You see, as you can see, zoom in camera, man, it's still white. It's no, nothing coming out because we cleaned the lock first and we gave it a dread bath. Okay, so now I'm gonna give him a full shampoo lather him up but um, I gotta just want to show you guys um, how you do a lock bath because everybody's asking me and I already showed you how to use the shampoo and how to do the shampoo so if you ever need a dread bath and you're in Miami holla at your girl happy to be nappy if your hair is busted happy to be nappy Queen Goddess is a wadi and sometimes Brian can fix it peace and natural hair grease much love and light alright thanks for the hearts peace